Hi, I'm Jess. And this is Japan. So we're back in Harajuku on a lovely sunny Thursday morning and we're heading back towards Ota Memorial Museum. But we're not going to the museum today, oh no. We're heading downstairs to a shop that I'm really excited to see. Are you ready to come with us? Say it with me. Itadakimasu. Let's dig in. So you have definitely seen tenugui before if you've watched any of our videos because I often wear them with my kimono. Um, I change my collar a lot um, just to kind of decorate my, my kimono when I wear it. You can wear these casually so uh, yeah, you can choose any design you want and just sew it on. So I've actually bought quite a few tenugui from this brand I think. So I'm really excited to go check it out. Um, I know it's a selfish reason but why don't you check it out with me? We'll explore the world of tenugui. Let's go! You can actually decorate your home with them. So you can use these like scroll rods, or you can even frame them like this. Do you see what I see? Do you recognize this? This is mine, I have this one. <laughs> it's my bunnies. Look, they have a blue version too. Cute. Look at all these different patterns. Oh, that one's pretty. So it's not only like traditional Japanese patterns, they've even got spoons. Oh my god. <laughs> These are so- oh look, look! <laughs> I'm wearing it today. <laughs> you know I love coffee. I'm gonna have to get some coffee cups as well. Oh my god. So tenkui is an interesting word. It's kind of hard to translate because it is translated as a hand towel, but these are very thin, kind of woven cotton. It's, it's not like the kind of towel that you might be familiar with. It's not made of terry cloth. So, but they are used for a, a variety of things. You can use them to dry things, you can wrap it around your head, <laughs> you can wear it as a collar under your kimono, you can wrap things with it, you can make a bag out of it. There's endless possibilities to them, and that's why they come in so many varieties and colors, and, you know, even using it as art is really, um, really common to do. Yeah. It's, it's a very old, traditional thing, but one thing that a lot of the places that we visit, including this shop, Kamalanu, is they respect the old traditions while still having fun with it. And that is something that I absolutely love. And I feel like I'm gonna buy quite a few if we today. <laughs> this is 
cool. I like this that, um, because these are all folded up and stuff, you can actually, they have little pictures of what the whole pinogre looks like, which is cool. So these are all a standard size. I think it's something like 30 or 35 centimeters by 90 centimeters, something like that. What's really cool is they change out. I love this. Like Japan is so, it, like they pay attention to the seasons so much. So right now, of course, they've got winter uh, motifs as well as Christmas stuff. It's not only Christmas stuff. Uh, have uh, winter motifs like uh, tsubaki, uh, means camellia. These are uh, flowers that represent winter. So you'll often see um, these kinds of flowers out in winter time. Uh, but then also they have like cranes in the snow, stuff like that. And if you notice, we've actually got Disney prints here as well. So they do change out um, their motifs and stuff. They have seasonal um, rotations, but they also have you know, brands like, like Disney that are, that are coming out as well um, with, with new designs all the time. So we've got Dalmatians and Dumbo and Mickey and Minnie and even Star Wars. We've got Darth Vader and some Stormtroopers. Um, so it's really interesting. You can really find almost anything, I feel like. Uh, okay, so this guy is really interesting because it's actually a rock with the legs and tail of a tiger. Which is a very strange cryptid to me, but apparently it's very loved. <laughs> This is called Torakoishi, and there's an actual rock. This rock actually exists in Oiso. Is that what they said? Yeah. And actually, you can actually see the uh, the original Uki way that it, it appears in. But uh, yeah, it's a very interesting cryptid. <laughs> very interesting creature. <laughs> but yeah, so you can only get these here at the Harajuku shop. So you gotta come. You gotta come check it out. Get a one of a kind souvenir. Um, but yeah, there's so much here to look at and to, to explore, and I'm really excited. I think I'm going to pick up a couple. There's so many. I want to buy all of them. Can I just have one? I'll take one of each. One of each, please. <laughs> oh look! They have their own, their own design. Ah, this is really interesting. So you guys know what a rebus is, right? So a rebus is when you use pictures to replace words. So if you want to say the word I, you use a picture of an I, right? This one is also like that. Um, it's called hanjimono, which is kind of like a puzzle, like a puzzle, puzzle word kind of thing. So we have a sickle, a ring, and nu. So the sickle is called kama, the ring is called wa, nu. Kama, wa, kama, wa, nu. <gasps> you have like musical designs. So, well, yeah, if this goes this way. <gasps> I could totally wear it. Oh my god, this would be so cute. This this kimono has music notes on it. So this would be totally cute. I think I want to get this one. Yeah. So sometimes designs go out of print, but for the first time this year, they decided to let the customers vote and see what designs they would like to bring back to life, basically. So these five designs right here, from this one over to the right, these are all designs that the customers voted back into uh, print. So, because it's the first time that they're doing this, we're not sure if they'll still be around by the time you get here, but if they are, you better snatch them up, because we don't know if they're going to do it again. Maybe I'll take this one. So I hope you've enjoyed this shopping trip with us. I hope that you have learned something about Pinigui and that you become just as excited as I am to be in here. <laughs> um, there's a lot of traditional arts like this that are really, really fun to learn about and to go shopping, go look at, go experience so we hope that we can bring a lot more to you um, we thank you for watching and for liking and subscribing and all of that because it really helps us out and as always please check us out at eatitlikemostjapan.net we can find out so much more about everything that we do yeah we appreciate you guys so much we hope you can come to japan soon we'll see you next time bye